and Creative Services. Thank you for joining our session. Our session is being recorded, so if you, if you would like to hear us again, or if you would like to share our session with one of your team members, you sure can. The GMCBB has been working with VML for several years now, so they are going to give you a quick glimpse of what their office can offer as an agency. Thank you, Janelle. Uh, my name is Julian Roca. I'm an executive director at the VML YNR Miami office. Uh, we're beyond excited, you know, with the opportunity to sponsor this amazing workshop, especially on a topic that is so close to our heart, you know, which is leveraging the power of social media and content creation through a great creative platform, which is the Miami Shines campaign. Let me just give you a few words about VML YNR for those who may not know us as well. We are a global brand and customer experience agency, and our focus is helping clients build connected brands. Now, uh, many of you may be asking, what is a connected brand? Essentially, uh, we work to ensure that a brand is part of people's lives, uh, emotionally, culturally, and experientially, so they can feel it, they can talk about it, and they can live it. Um, as uh, Janelle mentioned uh, uh, a few minutes ago, we have partnered with the GMCBB since 2016. So it's already been four years where we have brought uh, to life some of the great uh, branding and marketing campaigns that you may have already seen. Uh, just this year, we worked on the Miami Lens campaign and yes, uh, Miami Shines as well. And I'm sure there'll be many great uh, initiatives uh, to come. Uh, in any case, thanks for the opportunity to be here today and looking forward to enjoying a great session. Thank you very much, Julian. So each of the team members is going to go through what they do on a more detailed level, but an easy way to sum it all up is that we are the department that makes everything sound good and look fabulous. We're going to use this time to give you all a brief recap of what we're currently doing and how we have shifted our marketing initiatives due to COVID. During the session, you can submit your questions on the chat to Caro, our co-host, and at the end of the session, we will have a Q&A session time. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here with us today. My name is Laura Geralt, and I'm the program manager for the Miami Temptations program. Um, in light of current 2020 events, uh, we've had to change things up a bit this year. But before covering how our programs have evolved, I'd like to give you some background on each. The Miami Temptations program consists of seven different programs, all showcasing monthly special offers to both our local community and tourists alike. In December and January, we have Miami Arts and Heritage Months, which places a spotlight on diverse communities and what our partners in heritage neighborhoods have to offer. In February and March, we have Miami Health and Wellness Month, and this program highlights wellness special offers, as well as offers at sports and outdoor recreational facilities. In April and May, we have, Mar we have Miami Attraction and Museums Month, which advertises discounted admission tickets, logo and membership savings, and other offers from attractions and museums throughout the city. In June through September, we have Miami Hotel Months, which allows our hotel partners to put together amazing hotel stays and packages for the summer months. Next, we have Miami Spa Months, which starts in July and August and is one of our most popular programs. In this program, we have participating hotel, day, and med spas offering discounted treatments for 109, 139, or 199 prices. Moving on, we have Miami Spice Restaurant Months, which normally takes place in August and September and is probably the one that you guys have heard about the most. Um, this program is another favorite for, for both locals and visitors. Uh, where participating restaurants offer three course menus for $25 lunch, brunch, or $39 for dinner. And to wrap it up, we have Miami Entertainment Month, which takes place in October and November and uh, showcases special offers at live ticketed events throughout Miami while also highlighting many of our partners' free events as well. Um, and now we have pivoted our focus in light of the ongoing uh, coronavirus pandemic this year in an effort to help our partners and the community as much as possible, we launched two campaigns. The first one is called Miami Eats and it was launched at the end of March in order to help local restaurants during the crisis. This campaign launched with a website that featured over 1,200 uh, restaurant listings, free and regardless of the GMCVB um, partnership status with us. 
These listings displayed information such as takeout and delivery, and because of the latest regulations, we now have included on the website if they have an outdoor dining area as well. We actually have a dedicated team behind this initiative that calls restaurants on a weekly basis in order to ensure that we have the most accurate information on our website. Uh, this campaign was actually selected as the best grassroots relief effort for Time Out Miami's Time In Awards. So we're very proud of that. Uh, the next one we launched is called Miami Shines and it's a business recovery campaign, uh, kind of sort of like an umbrella, an umbrella of all offers from our partners on everything from hotel stays to restaurant deals, some attractions and museums offers. Um, and just uh, recently, tomorrow officially begins Miami uh, Spa Month and ends uh, September 30th. And that's all for me. Thank you all. I'm switching over to Andy Hoffman for website editorial content. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Laura. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Andy Hoffman, Senior Digital Editorial Manager. Uh, I manage the creation of the editorial content for our website, uh, which is basically the articles. Um, just so you know, we, we continuously update existing content and create new content uh, to keep everything fresh and current. We currently have uh, over 600 articles on the site, and we're adding to that all the time. Our goal is to touch every article at least once a year, uh, whether that be a complete rewrite, um, an update or, um, or a fact check. Uh, under normal circumstances, I have a team of about uh, 10 to 12 local freelance writers, uh, but due to the current situation, we're able to use resources, so the majority of our content uh, is just being fact checked for now uh, by in-house bureau staff members that, uh, you know, that have extra time to help out. Uh, however, we do have uh, a few staff members that are that are pretty good writers, uh, so we've been able to utilize their literary skills to help us create some new content uh, that's very timely and relevant right now. Uh, things like staycations, uh, Miami and Miami Beach staycations, um, doing a Miami road trip, which actually, if uh, if you attended the previous session with our PR team, uh, uh, Matt Meltzer from uh, you know the, the travel writer. He, was, he really emphasized um, road trip articles. So when he was talking about that, I was like, yes, you know, we're, we're there, we got that. So I, I was happy to hear that. Um, we've done articles about the new rules and what to expect with the reopening of our beaches, parks, um, golf courses, and marinas. We have focused a lot more on outdoor activity content, uh, a lot of which was created uh, earlier in the year for our uh, Miami Land campaign, which was discussed uh, in yesterday's session with the digital advertising and, uh, and web team. Um, more content, more outdoor content has been added to, uh, you know, to that initiative. Uh, we've created more content on outdoor dining. We've updated a lot of articles regarding virtual events and activities that, um, that have replaced live participation. And, um, you know, we've also just added a, a general caveat to many of our articles, uh, just you know, recommending that before you head out somewhere, it's a it's a good idea to just you know call the place first, just so you have the most updated information as to um, you know their hours and and their operations and any uh, safety procedures that they've implemented, that kind of thing. Um, in collaboration with our web team, with whom we work very closely, we've created a rolling promotional calendar, which again under normal circumstances. Uh, is our topic guideline for each month of the year. Our editorial voice, so you know, is experiential, uh, which is much more engaging and interesting than just a, you know, a general business type listing. We want our, our, our articles to tell a story. Uh, we want the reader to, through the writer's words, we want the reader to really experience you know the, the place or the event we want them to to feel the um, the atmosphere the the ambiance the, uh, the the tastes the smells the colors um you know really really like experience what what it would be like um and each one of our writers has been provided with um a detailed writing style guide our articles cover really a, a myriad of topics uh, which are generated from a lot of different sources 
For example, uh, you know, we, we have weekly SEO calls with our digital agency where we discuss uh, keywords and, and search terms that are, uh, that are currently trending and, um, you know, and have high volume. Uh, we have had weekly discussions with our web team uh, for any media campaigns that they're creating or running. We evaluate any existing content that we have, as well as brainstorm regarding any new content that we can create to support their efforts. Um, you know, we also discuss with them uh, current and seasonal content needs for, um, you know, for articles, for the Miami Insider Newsletter, uh, and for you know, homepage, uh, different homepage call-out sections. Um, our, we have a very comprehensive cultural calendar, so we write and update a lot of articles about key events that are happening throughout the county. Um, we, we're having monthly internal meetings with several GMC, uh, GMCBB departments to learn about things in their world that are coming up over the following couple of months uh, to, see if, you know, to see how we could support them editorially. Um, and, um, you know, ideas also come from external slash virtual uh, meetings that, that a staff member might be involved in. They might, you know, meet with somebody, then come back to us and say, hey, you know, did you know that, you know, next month, uh, you know, this is happening or that's happening. Uh, so, you know, we get, we get some, uh, some ideas from, uh, from that way as well. So our, our actual editorial process that we apply to every article is uh, very comprehensive. <laughs> There are uh, various people that execute all different tasks that are involved, uh, from, uh, from a project creative brief to the writing or the fact checking, uh, SEO recommendations from our digital agency, image sourcing, editing, uh, creation of a staging link, uh, a final review of the content, and then actually pushing the piece of content live. Um, and that whole process, takes approximately three and a half weeks. And again, we, we implement that process for every article that's, that's on the website. Um, so that's, those are the, the basic workings of our editorial content machine. And um, it's all a, a daily labor of love. So um, with that, I, I thank you for your time. And I'm gonna turn you over now to Maika, who's gonna talk about social media with you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Hi, everyone. I'm Maika Mulit. I'm the social media manager for the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. And today we're going to get into social media. So social media is a very special platform for us because it allows us to engage with the consumer throughout the consumer cycle. So what does the consumer cycle look like? That means that we're able to target people when they are considering where it is that they want to travel to, we are able to target them once they already have their travel booked and they're trying to figure out what it is that they want to do once they're in Miami and the beaches. And then we're also able to reach out to that person once they have come to Miami, they've loved everything about it, and we're trying to get them to come back again in the post-trip phase. And we are in a very special um, position right now because of everything that's happening in light of the global pandemic. And it makes our job a little bit more interesting, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Um, one of the things that we have been able to decide on um, switching our efforts or just um, emphasizing our efforts is really focusing on the local market, people who live within um, Miami-Dade County and uh, the Tri-County area. We know that once travel begins to um, reestablish itself and people feel comfortable um, doing that again, it will most likely start wherever it is that they're closer to home and then expand. So we've um, shifted our social platform, our tone, to be able to target people who are local. Um, normally, our platforms are um, really focusing on the national visitor, the person who's coming from um, outside of the Tri-County area, outside of the state, to come and visit us. But now, in light of everything that's going on, we've been able to really shine some uh, spotlights on our local efforts. So something that's um, really interesting is that currently across all of our social channels, well, specifically Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which we would say are our primary channels, we have over 1 million followers, but we also have social channels which include YouTube, Pinterest, our international efforts, um, uh, B2B with LinkedIn and Twitter, as well as our um, corporate Twitter page, which is spearheaded by our communications team, but we are able to collaborate across departments. 
um, in light of everything that's been going on, we have paused some of um, the bulk of our international efforts just as we continue to monitor the situation and be open to that time when international travelers are traveling to Miami. Um, but in the meantime, we've been able to really emphasize some of our local initiatives. Those initiatives include our Miami Eats campaign, which is our way of getting people who live within Miami-Dade County to really help support our local restaurants by ordering out and helping out. And this um, campaign has performed favorably across all of our channels because people are really looking for a way in which that they can help out. We all, you know, are managing this new normal in the best way that we can in any way that we're able to extend a hand to our, um, our fellow community, um, whether it's through our social platforms or local um, citizens commenting on that, that allows us to do that. Um, also, we are able to handle all of the different initiatives that we have as a company and our social media page or pages, excuse me, is the perfect way for us to highlight that. So we're sharing things that are happening or the latest developments within arts and culture, sports and entertainment, multicultural tourism, our own corporate communications efforts, and more. And what's really exciting is that social media allows us to keep a thumb on the pulse of everything that's happening. And it's very interesting for us because it allows us to show more of the diversity of Miami and um, especially in light of things that are happening with the pandemic, as we talk about different um, uh, social justice issues, we've been able to kind of stake our claim and say the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau is here for you, we've been here for you, here's how we've supported and here's how we will continue to support. So something new that we've been able to establish um, during this current new normal is to share our social listening reports. We, before pre-pandemic, we had social listening um, enabled so that way we can always know what are people saying about Miami outside of Miami. But in light of the pandemic, we've been able to really target what people locally are saying about Miami as well as that national traveler. But what we're doing is looking at keywords that target Miami and coronavirus or Miami and reopening and the keywords that people are sharing about online. And that gives us a really um, you know, a, a, a true look at what people are saying on social media, very unfiltered. We, we see the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it allows us to be able to create an informed decision about the different campaigns that we, that we launch. And while our paid efforts are paused for the time being, as we monitor the ongoing situation and to be able to make sure that we are deploying our funds in the most appropriate and effective manner, um, we still know exactly everything that's happening. So we send this social listening report to our um, local community stakeholders, and it just gives a really quick pulse check about what's happening both within Miami-Dade County and um, nationwide. On social media, we're able to highlight so many different types of posts. We leverage user-generated content, which performs very favorably for us. And user-generated content is essentially the posts that people are sharing online we go and we look and we scour the internet to see, hmm, is this something that we'd be able to share? And once we find that great post, we ask the person for permission, and then we then share it on our social platforms. Um, additionally, we have um, influencer partnerships, which the bulk of it has been paused in light of everything that is going on. But we do know that there have been um, opportunities for us to leverage um, any initiatives that are happening within our local community. For instance, David Guetta had a wonderful um, a concert that he did uh, within downtown Miami, and we were able to leverage that on our platforms through a partnership between our pages, and that allowed us to have some of the viewers who would have gone maybe to David Guetta's page to be able to view his performance right from our own. We also are able to highlight some of the different initiatives that our partners are working on, whether it's you know, um, updates that are happening across the hotel to make travelers feel safe when they are coming to visit us, or whether we're sharing some new virtual experience that someone can partake in to be able to experience Miami from home, we're able to share everything um, and everything in between. So we also have campaigns, as you know, our Found in Miami campaign, Miami Land, Miami Shine. All of these different initiatives are just different facets um, or manners for us to be able to showcase Miami. And it allows us to showcase Miami in different ways. Miami Land shows all of the wonderful outdoor adventures that people can partake in. And especially during this time of, you know, social distancing and maintaining safe distance and wearing 
um, uh, facial coverings, outdoor adventures are really important for us to showcase, which we have been doing. And then we're able to reshare all of these posts, especially on Instagram. So if you would like for us to share any of your content, if you're sharing to your Instagram stories, be sure to tag us at Miami and Beaches, and then we can be able to share that. And right now, um, that kind of sums up everything that we're working on on our social media pages for the time being. And I'm going to pass the mic to my colleague, Robert, and he'll get into our print and editorial content. Thank you. Thank you, Maika. Hi, everybody. My name is Robert Tranzino, and I manage our print publications. In the past, we've typically produced several books throughout the year. Our main publications are the Vacation Planner, which is delivered to customers before they arrive in Miami, and the Visitor's Guide, which is placed in hotel rooms so they can read it when they get here. Other publications include the Travel Planner for travel agents, the Meeting Planner for people who are planning events, the Pocket Guide for meeting delegates, as well as the City Sites and Maps brochures, which were translated into nine different languages. We've also produced specialty publications like the Family Fun Guide and the Multicultural Guide. Most recently, we produced the Sports and Entertainment Venue Guide, which highlights our stadiums and venues that are available to host sporting events. All of our publications feature you, our partners. Our editorial process includes reaching out to you to make sure our partner listings are up to date and making sure the photography in the books represents the diverse neighborhoods and attractions throughout the entire destination. Looking ahead, we're planning to streamline our publications. We anticipate less demand for print products next year, so we expect to print on an as-needed basis rather than following our traditional editorial calendar. We're looking for ways to integrate our existing print content into our digital channels and to promote our existing publications online, as well as adding some video elements. In addition to editorial listings in the publications, which are included with their partnership dues, partners can also purchase ads. We'll be reaching out to see if you would like to place an ad in any upcoming publication. You can also contact us at any time if you wish to place an ad. We're going to be checking in with our partners for ideas about how we should uh, move forward. So I'd like all of you to start thinking about what publications are most important to you. If you have any ideas for improvements to existing publications, if you have any ideas for new publications, and if you have any ideas about how we can promote our publications digitally. That's it for me. Uh, thank you for your time. And next up, we have Chris Askunse, who manages Creative Services. Thank you, Robert. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Askunse, and I manage the Creative Services subdivision. In light of the uh, new normal, GMCVB Creative Services is focusing on creating more digital content. As the in-house marketing and creative agency of the GMCBB, we are currently filming, developing, and producing new video and digital content for our website, our social media outlets, and our partners to help them and our stakeholders continue to gain visibility. We also develop targeted print, digital photography, and video collateral for consumers, the media, travel trade professionals, and meeting planners to use in their virtual fans and virtual meetings that they are that our teams are currently conducting. We ensure consistent standards for all our Miami Temptations programs, turning to our temporary lineup for this year. We manage our digital assets library, gmcbbdigitallibrary.com, so that our partners, stakeholders, and media representatives can access the content we are producing. We promote the GMCBB brand at visitor centers as they are reopening, and we design promotional materials for a diverse array of community relations projects. As I mentioned before, we are currently developing videos to help showcase our partners. On the next slide, we'll show you two examples of the video content that we have produced. Every time the phone rings at our restaurant, it brings us hope. Because every time you call us directly for takeout or delivery, our kitchens come to life. We season your food with love and gratitude so you can enjoy it at home. By yourself or with your closest ones. Thank you for your support. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for ordering out. Merci. Gracias, Miami. Miami Eats. Order out, help out. Dial your restaurants now. Every time the phone rings at our restaurant. 
And here's the next one. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, the water's sparkling, and we can't wait to welcome you. Okay, now that you've heard about what we have, how we have transitioned our marketing efforts, we want to know and want to hear from all of you. So, um, one of the questions that we have received, we've received a couple of questions, but we'll start off with this one. Um, and, and obviously, we all, I will state it and you can unmute yourself or we'll add, or Ali, I think we'll unmute you so you can speak. But the first question is that we want to know, I want to hear from you is, how has the pandemic affected your business this year? What can the GMCVB do to assist you getting back to pre-COVID days? Anybody? So I guess the GMCVB has done everything that we can do, right? We will continue doing everything um, that we have planned and we'll continue to make sure that our marketing efforts are shifted um, to assist all of our partners. Um, the next question that we have received is, do any, do, does anyone have any suggestions as to how our publications should change? Do we know um, that, the, for instance, the meeting planner is one of the publications that we currently do. Do we want to continue doing the meeting planner? Do we want to continue doing all of the publications that, uh, that Robert mentioned earlier? Anybody? Well, the, again, this is um, this is this session is going to be recorded. So, if anybody has any suggestions as to what we should do with our publications, you can always send us an email to content at gmcvb.com, and we'll take it from there. Um, we've received another question. Let's see. Okay, if we create content from the G with the GMCVB logo as members and are representing our partnership, what parameters do you have to post it for your website, Instagram, Facebook account? So I will let Maika speak how we will be able to um, do that on our social media channels. Hi there, Janelle, would you mind repeating the question? Your voice went out. <laughs> okay, if we, if, we create, and this is a partner that's asking, if we create content with the GMCBB logo as members and representing our partnership, what parameters do you have to post on our Instagram, Facebook accounts, and other social media channels? Yeah. So in the past, when we've worked with partners, they are able to leverage our logo. Um, it depends on the post. We're able to reshare that across our social pages for sure. Um, but I think in terms of the mechanics for how the logo should be used and where it should go, I think Chris would be able to speak better to that. But in terms of our um, social posts, if you have an initiative that you're working on 
and you would like for it to be shared on our pages, you can reach out to content at gmtvb.com or social media at gmtvb.com, really anyone, and they'll be able to forward it over to us. Um, many times uh, through our communications team, we'll know that, oh, let's say a hotel was nominated for a recent an, uh, award. We can then share that on our social pages to encourage people to then share and vote for you and, and whatever it is that you're looking for. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that any of the images or videos that we are sharing are high quality. So let's always keep in mind that for images, we want to limit the amount of logos or uh, letters on top of it. If you can find just a beautiful image that showcases and represents the event or initiative that you're trying to um, highlight, that would really help us in terms of our social pages. But in, uh, in terms of guidelines for how the logo can be used for your own videos and um, assets, I'll pass that over to Chris. Yeah, okay, so basically, um, you just have to be specific on what exactly you want to, you know, to showcase or what have you. Um, we provide um, an array of services. So you can always email me and ask directly exactly what you what you would want to to showcase. And then, you know, I can give you uh, exact answers. That's Chris at Chris at at uh, jamesbb.com. So we have a next question and the question is is from the fantasy theater factory um, that they have seen throughout most of these virtual workshops a lot of push on helping the restaurant and hotel markets is there anything that the gmcbb is doing for performing groups our virtual events anything planned ahead in regards of that because i have seen nothing and i will follow the gmcbb in all of our channels so absolutely, um, one of the things that we are doing are we have been highlighting virtual events and we will continue to highlight virtual events. Um, so if there's anything that you would like us to have on our website, we'll be more than happy to do that. And we'll add that as soon as you send that to us. And again, you can send it to us at content at gmcbb.com and we'll go ahead and add that. Any other questions? I okay one of the questions Robert this is for you um, one of the questions that came in is are we still publishing the family fund guide um, it's not clear yet at this point we are not because we're planning on having less demand next year but we'll see how the year goes but typically we produce it every um, June now this year we did not again because of the COVID situation um, so it's up in the air uh, we hope to be able to but we're not sure okay and Maika there's one question for you someone is asking if they can be added to the social listening report so I will email you their um, their contact information but how would people be added to the social listening report for future reference You're, you're on mute, Maiga. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just trying to find the key over the block. Um, but yeah, so if you email us at content at gmcvb.com or social media at gmcvb.com, you can be added to the social listening report. And that's just really giving a quick um, high level view at some of the social posts that are going out across our, uh, you know, across all of social media. Um, we separate that report into two categories, whether we're looking at what people in Miami are saying specifically and what people nationally are saying about Miami and the virus. And we include the keywords that, um, that we are pulling. Um, and depending on, you know, how the conversation or the situation evolves, the, the report is fluid. So we originally started just looking at what people were saying nationally about Miami and the virus, but it became very important to us to see what um, what are what is the local community saying about that? Or do they feel supported when someone says, oh, how can I support the community? That's an opportunity for us to say, hey, you can support by um, taking a look at our Miami East campaign and things of that nature. And kind of going back to something that someone asked earlier, um, we have different pillars that we highlight across all of our social platforms and virtual events are definitely one of those pillars. We have um, on our website, 
an ongoing, um, it's being updated on an ongoing basis to highlight all of the different virtual events that our partners are having. There's a landing page for that as well. Um, I don't know it off the top of my head, but if I do, I will send that to um, Caro or one of our co hosts so that they can drop the link in there. But we are highlighting our virtual events and they are being highlighted on social as well. So, um, and if you ever see anything that you would like to be highlighted, of course, please, please, please reach out to us. We're always looking for content and we're here to support you. So whatever you need, we'll, we'll figure out a way to make that happen. Thank you, Maika. Um, Andy, this question is for you. Um, what are the most popular articles that people search for on our website? Uh, okay. Um, well, over, I, I would say over the last 12 months or so, um, interestingly, the, the top articles have been transportation articles. Uh, in particular, how to get from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. Um, then the, the other two transportation articles that are very, you know, that have very high um, uh, engagement is um, uh, how, to, how to tackle Miami's public transportation and how to get around using our trolley system. So, so people are very interested in, in, in public, our public transportation. Um, and then just, you know, in addition to those, just, uh, you know, historically, uh, events are always, um, you know, very, very popular content. We've always done a monthly hottest events, uh, and those, those articles always received very, very high engagement. Great, thank you, Andy. The next question I'll take, um, I'll take a stab at it. It's how can hoteliers be considered to be filmed for the hotel videos? So that's a great question. And, and we have been receiving a lot of uh, emails, I, I guess because of the workshop, people are showing off their videos. So the hoteliers are asking how can their hotel be featured? And what we do is, of course, we schedule all of the hotel um, video shoots. And then we internally, we go, we do, we do the interviews, and then we come back and we also, um, I guess, we develop the, the video, but we develop the video in a way where we want, want us to be able to go ahead and feature them, but we also want our partners to be able to use it as well. So what we'll do is we go to the hotel and we ask, about two to three different guests, how they feel, how they feel about being in Miami, how they arrived in Miami, how are they traveling safely? So we have been doing those and we will continue to do those, uh, hopefully not too long because hopefully things change soon, but we will continue to be um, very of service to all of our partners. Uh, Janelle, if I may expand on that as well, um, just so that you guys know, uh, when we go out and do these uh, videos, we're also capturing uh, B-roll of the properties um, of the general area of the um, the hotel. So all that video and all that B-roll will be available on the um, on the GMCVB digital library. So um, so it's it's a win-win. So you guys can use it in the future, and anybody else can also uh, get a, get a hold of that as well. Okay, great. Thank you. We have one more question. What will be the catalyst event or events to resume larger scale social media campaigns? Will it be a slowing down of positivity rate, effective therapeutics, or will we need to wait for a vaccine? Mike, I think uh, you're on mute. There yeah, you I'm slow to unmute. <laughs> you can tell this is live. Okay, so in terms of, um, what that would look like. We're still trying to figure that out. I think, you know, we can see every day that the situation is evolving both locally and nationally. Um, and these are just ongoing discussions that we are going to have, but know that once that it is decided that we want to move forward, we will be able to do that. Um, one of the things that we're able to do, even starting right now, within our um, videos where we're showcasing people who have traveled to our local hotels, we are, you know, highlighting all of the um, updates that have been made to those properties. So how are things being cleaned? Um, we have, we include videos of people when they're wearing their masks. So we're trying to show that locally, we are taking this seriously and people are um, taking the necessary precautions, but what that looks like in terms of reactivating and launching, that is, um, you know, we're, we're still working through that. And I think part of that is an ongoing discussion that 
um, all destinations are looking at, and businesses, frankly, to see what that might look like when we do uh, go back to normal. So um, we're in that process now, kind of working through it. But of course, as soon as we know what that large scale event will be or when that will be, we'll be able to share that on our social pages. Thank you, Micah. So one of the questions that we have for our, um, for our attendees is, what modifications would you all like to see our Miami Temptation programs um, to have in order to better serve your current needs? So as we stated earlier, we went ahead and modified our temptation programs to highlight the hotels, highlight obviously the restaurants. And um, as of tomorrow, we're gonna have Miami Spa Month offers. So is there, so we wanna know from you, um, is there anything else that we would, that you would like to see as far as temptations related changes? We are also promoting our attractions and museums. Um, but of course, there have been a lot of changes with the opening of the attractions and museums. So we are trying to shift and modify as needed. But if there's anything that anyone else would like us to change or have any suggestions, again, you could email content at gmcbb.com and we will go ahead and take all, everybody's um, input into consideration. But if you wanna say now, you can. Just really quickly wanted to hop in, you know, the chat function isn't enabled for everyone. So if there is something that you would like to mention and you're comfortable with letting your voice uh, be heard or just letting us see you speak, by all means, you can turn your video on or turn your audio on so that we can hear you. Thank you, Maika. So we just uh, received one comment from Vizcaya and um, it's about, uh, says for attractions, having an additional discount right now would be extremely difficult. So thank you very much for your input. We will go ahead and take everyone's input into consideration while we're developing these um, modified temptation programs. Yeah, I just wanna add um, something really quick, Janelle. Uh, every year before the new fiscal starts, we kind of meet and we do everything. Um, we go over each temptation program and you know what new changes and new things we're gonna implement. This year, it's gonna be a new normal and we're gonna implement a lot of new changes. So those um, comments from you guys and that feedback on how your businesses are being affected are really gonna help us um, shape what the temptation programs are going to be for the new fiscal. So um, as Janelle said, she gave that email address um, at the beginning and I'm gonna ask if Fado, if you can put it in the chat, the Miami Temptations at gmcbb.com uh, email as well, that would be helpful. Um, but yeah, all of, all of your, your comments and feedback on the existing programs would uh, be helpful for us to plan for the new, for the new fiscal. Thank you, Laura. We have one more question. How can we get access to the Miami Hotels video to promote it as well? So any videos that, uh, we, that, we, have, um, that we have on our website, we can send you links via Vimeo so that you can download it yourself and you can, put, you can use it how you see fit. You could use it on your website, you can use it on uh, your social media channels, any way you see fit. So again, if there's any video that you would like, send us the link and we will go ahead and send that to you to use as well. And also for social, we are sharing it across our pages. So if you happen to see it, you can share what we've posted to our page over to yours just by retweeting, sharing it to your story, that kind of thing. If you would just want to leverage what we've already shared across our platform. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, I don't think we have any other questions. So you have 14 minutes extra to your day, but again, we, the Temptations team and the content team, we're all here to help our partners. So please send us your, your feedback and your questions to content at gmcbb.com. We are here to help. <laughs>